Hello, new designers, and welcome to our launch party tutorial. So now that we already have our launch party scheduled into the lounge, we need to make a Facebook group. So we are going to go to Facebook and we're going to click on create. And then we're going to click on create a group. And a group is the best way to start your launch party because once your launch party um, is over, then we can turn this Facebook group into your VIP group since you already have customers here who are excited about Keep, who have purchased Keep from you and are going to be maybe potential hostesses, um, will stay with you as customers and then we'll support you. So you can name it whatever you would like. I'm gonna put um, Dora's Keep Collective Launch Party and you can always change the name later. Um, you need to add at least one person to your group. I'm just adding my mom. Um, you can always click on the button right here where it says pin to shortcuts, but I have too many groups, so I cannot do that. Um, and then you would just click on create to create your party. Here is a key collective design session that I have currently going on right now. And I have this fun little uh, group cover photo that I created in Mimi. And you can easily create that in Mimi and upload it. But I wanted to talk about a few things that I always do in the group. So I always do a description along with adding the link for the design session. And I always go live. Uh, the first day of the party, show some of the pretties that I have, and I post it right here at the top. So when you click on this little arrow right here, you'll see that I have it uh, pinned as an announcement at the top so that it's very easy for um, Jennifer's guests to come and take a look at not only the video and what I showed, but it's very clear where it says shop her party link here. Another announcement that I have pinned to the top is the catalog. There are so many customers that enjoy looking through a catalog page by page, and it's right here. So it's a great way for them to take a look at everything that we have to offer. And um, I also have her party link uh, pinned right here as well. So it has her name where she's tagged and it has her party link. So that is something that, um, and I just clicked on it. Um, that is something that I like to also post in the party. And then I post something about myself. Um, and then once your launch party is over, you can click on um, these three little bubbles where it says more. And then you can edit your group setting right here. And then here's where you can change your name later. Instead of it saying Jennifer's Fall Design Session, I could change it to Jennifer's Keep VIPs, Jennifer's whatever. I could change the description. I could change any of those pretty things right here. Um, if you are changing this to your VIP group, you can click um, Customize Your Address and change it later. So instead of it being all of these numbers at the top, you can click on right here where it says customize address, and then you can change it to a name. So maybe it's um, Jennifer's VIPs instead. So that um, is is super helpful um, for you because once you already have this group established, then you can just turn it over to um, a VIP group and have fun in here with your customers. Um, if you have any questions, please let me know and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you.